guys. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, before we start with the electronic class, uh, I want to finish with the inverter because there are some questions. Some people asked me yesterday about a lot of questions about the, basically the configuration of the battery bank uh, for, uh, for uh, the inverter and how to install the inverter. Uh, install the inverter is not uh, complicated because uh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I want to install an uh, other source of AC power for the switch selector. You remember this is the AC switch selector. You have generator, inverter, short power, or off. Or you have breakers. Breaker for inverter, generator, short power. This is the output of this equipment. And the input of this equipment is DC. Oh, I need a battery bank to supply DC power and this equipment convert the DC power into AC. AC. The signal is perfect? Sinus signal? No. No, it's a little Sorry. it's a little square. In some cases if the if the inverter is not a professional inverter, it's a, like a triangle, no? The cheaper inver invent inverters, uh, the, the output signal is not good. Uh, for that reason, the majority of the manufacturers of uh, inverters, they say the uh, true signal, real signal. Really, really is not true. Really, really is not, is not uh, real. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a good signal created in the circuit board, in the computer of this equipment. It's pretty close, pretty close to the real signal, okay? And uh, every day, every day, some years ago, 10 years ago, I remember, I don't recommend uh, the output signal from the inverter to activate a lot of equipments. Today, the engineers, the scientists, they, they have uh, excellent inverters with excellent output signal. And now you can connect in the output of the inverter, air conditioning equipment, motors, great equipment that uh, 10 years ago, no, you remember in the boat? Uh, 10 years ago, you have a separate breakers exclusive for use with inverter. The other breakers, no, because the inverter, the breaker out. Okay, today, no, because uh, the quality of uh, the signal produced for the inverter is excellent. And, uh, and uh, of course, those inverters are expensive. This is a marine inverter uh, with the output of 4,000 watts four kilowatts. Uh, yeah, there are other ones, six kilowatts, 10 kilowatts, but uh, it's, it's too expensive. Uh, in what scenarios uh, you need the inverter? Let me tell you something. Today, the situation is completely different like uh, 10 years ago, five years ago, because uh, there are a lot of uh, hybrid boats, a lot of uh, uh, fully electric boats, hybrid cars, fully electric cars. And uh, it's uh, a lot of people interested in the green, green, green atmosphere. And uh, they say, okay, we want to eliminate all, all the uh, internal combustion engines, gas engine, diesel engines. Uh, excuse me, you want an, a hybrid car? No, I don't want a hybrid car. I don't want a hybrid boat because the hybrid car, the hybrid boat use in some moments a small generator, gas or diesel. I want to eliminate completely uh, no generator in my boat. I want only solar panels, uh, inverters, and uh, that's it. All right. This is possible, but uh, with, uh, with some limitation of money, basically. And uh, some limitations of uh, space to install solar, panel, uh, 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 solar panels. Why? Because uh, how many watts you want in the output of this inverter? <clears throat> no, I need, uh, I want uh, six uh, kilowatts, 6,000 watts. Let me I calculate how many batteries you need. You need this amount of batteries with this amount of amps in the battery bank. Oh, wow. Oh, no, no, okay, let me I reduce a little my output. Okay, 4,000. This is the amount of batteries and the amount of amps, yeah? That equation is expensive, especially because today the people wanted to use lithium batteries, lithium phosphate batteries. And the price of those batteries is too high. 
if you need 10 batteries, if you need 12 batteries of lithium, it's a lot of money, no? And the people start to reduce, to reduce, to reduce. This is one, one thing. For that reason, uh, the, the, the hybrid, in my opinion, is a good solution. Let me explain why the hybrid, in my opinion, is a good solution. Hybrid is this. I have my car with electric motor, electric motor, instead of gasoline and diesel, I replace that motor for an electric motor, AC motor. Ah, okay, in my car, I have one inverter, because the motor is electric AC, three-phase motor. I replace the gasoline, put the gasoline up, I put the electric motor, three-phase, and I create an adapter, a flange, to connect the, the, the old transmission, manual or automatic. I have the same transmission with a new electric motor. And that electric motor receives power from one inverter, AC power, hot, neutral, and ground. That's clear? Okay. And uh, the inverter produce AC because the, the inverter have one bank of batteries. In my car, I have a battery bank in the trunk, a big battery bank with good batteries. That's okay? This is a hybrid boat, pay attention. I am driving my car, driving my boat, hybrid, and suddenly the level of charge, the DOD, you remember? The DOD in this battery bank decreased 20%. When the level of charge in the battery bank decreased 20%, automatically the generator start. The generator start, send power for a battery charger, and the battery charger recharge my battery bank quickly, in five minutes, 10 minutes. As soon as the, bat as the battery bank reach 95, 96%, the generator stop, and I continue, continue driving my car for other 40 minutes until the level of, of uh, the battery bank decreased 20%, and the generator start again. This is the perfect solution, guys. This is the perfect solution. Why? Because that generator is a small generator. It's a small portable generator. It's a small generator. I can drive from uh, Miami to New York, and probably I use two liters of uh, gasoline for that small generator. This is nothing. This is nothing. And I, not, I don't need, with that hybrid car, I don't need to stop periodically to recharge, to recharge my battery bank. Everybody follow me? Yes, sir. Now you understand what is the meaning of hybrid? It's great, no? It's great. No, I don't like, my friend, I am using that small generator periodically, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, each 45 minutes, only to recharge this one. This is a small generator, one cylinder. The consumption in fuel is nothing. I spent from Miami to New York one and a half liter. It's nothing. Less than one gallon. Okay? And I never stop to recharge my car. I stop for other purposes, not to recharge the car. That's, 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 that's a great solution. In your boat will be nice because you are in the middle of the ocean, you don't have sun, you don't have a uh, air, uh, wind, and uh, you start the generator only to recharge the battery bank, not to use that power in the boat, because the rest of the boat is configured DC, and uh, the inverter supply power for the rest of the boat. This is a hybrid boat. I recommend in the future think about the hybrid boat. Uh, I am doing other specific book uh, specific for hybrid uh, vehicles. Uh, but now in the book of uh, uh, marine transmission, I have this information. Okay, guys. Good? This is the idea. Okay, I have this example, this particular example, 4,000 uh, watts, 4 kilowatts in the output AC, and I want to calculate how many power I need in the input to produce 4,000 in the output. And in order to use the, the 4,000, for one hour. Okay, in the input, ah, one important thing. 
the majority of the, of the inverters, depending on the DC voltage coming in, will be the AC output voltage coming out. Pay attention. If my battery bank is configured in 12 volts, probably I have in the output 120. 110, 120. If my input is 240, excuse me, 24 volts DC, I have in the output 240. If my, if my battery bank is configured in 36 volts DC, I have 360, three phases in the output. You understand? This is, this is important. How you configure the battery bank and uh, this is the output. This this generate this inverter uh, is uh, is uh, for single phase in the output or double phase in the output. If I connect the battery bank like this in 24, I have in the output phase phase neut neutral and ground 240. Great guys, this is very very important because remember I explained in other video that uh, internally this element have a step up transformer. If you introduce 12 the step up convert in 120 multiply times 10. Okay, great. All right, in this particular example, look at this. How is the configuration of those batteries? Series. Series. Is it in 12 or 24? 24. It's in 24, no? Okay, guys. Now I have a, a great example. Suppose that I have a, an inverter with uh, 6,000 watts in the output. I want to calculate the battery bank that I need in the input to produce 6,000 watts in one hour. Okay, what is the idea? That uh, the power should be equal. However, I recommend consider that uh, you have loss of power for dissipation of heat and other electrical and electronic reasons. For that reason, the power in the input is a uh, 24 volts times the intensity should be equal to the power in the output in this particular case 6,000 watts plus 20 percent. What is the meaning of uh, 6,000 watts plus 20 percent? This is uh, 6,000 watts times 1.2 should be equal to 24 volts times the intensity. 6,000 times 1.2 is 7,200 watts. 7,200 watts should be equal to 24 times the intensity. Then the intensity is 7,200 divided by 24. I think that this is around 310 amps. 300 amps. This is the amount of amps that I need in the input in the group of batteries to supply power 6,000 watts in the output for one hour. Really, really is not for one hour. It's for 30 minutes because the recommendation is never drain the battery bank less than 50%. Oh, I have lithium batteries. Okay, all right. If you have lithium battery, you can drain more. I don't recommend. I don't recommend for two reasons. To protect the life of the battery and because the process to recharge the battery is less difficult when the level of charge decreases only 25%, 30% maximum. Okay, guys, that's the procedure. Consider that you lose around 20% of power for uh, dissipation of heat, for electrical and electronic issues. Where you added that 20% in the output, and you calculate the intensity. This is the amount of amps that you need in the battery bank this is the amount of amp that you need in the battery bank to create that output for one hour, really, really for 30 minutes. 